my thing is, is, you know, there, there's certain things, you know, other than you guys are, you guys are, you know, the big city elitists that think you're better than don't, everybody. Cause you live in a big city. So you guys might have a few more than I do, oh, yeah. but what is the, uh, what is, what is the biggest thing you're a snob? What, what, would, what brings out the biggest snob in you? You know, there's certain things where people are very picky. Like I only get coffee from Starbucks or, you know, I'm too good to eat Pizza Hut or I don't eat McDonald's. You know, what's what is something that you guys are snobby about? <laughs> yeah, Ethan, no, Ethan is a wine snob. Wine, so I'll, I'll, I'll cool. let you talk for a little bit, Ethan. If, explain your wine snobbiness. The only positive thing my ex ever did for me uh, but uh, it was getting me into red wine. Everything else, that- she was just a shit show of a human. But uh, – <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, it's just it's just great. I mean, I used to eat it with ice cubes, and then I was like, "Wow, it's going to be better without ice cubes. It's better warm." Uh, I've I've even joined a wine club now here in the Twin Cities, Dylan. Wow. Yeah, so what what is your favorite wine then? Um, probably a Syrah. I have a, a what? Syrah. What? Okay, what is what is a Syrah? You're gonna have to explain very dry, to us. Um, it's not very common um mostly just oh. california has it uh so they are rather expensive when you find them uh i did buy let's see i bought like a 90 dollar bottle like have a year you and op- a half ago have you Grant's opened said bottle attack. yeah we right, had well, it for christmas fair. you're gonna no. yeah With- so we had it for christmas uh thank you to my sister for the 50 dollar gift card so i could buy it i figured you know what fuck it we're gonna hey did- we're, we're gonna go nice but uh did your stump like churn or bubble right. after that with all the nasty foot fungus that was in that wine with <laughs> when they were smashing the grapes. <laughs> no, it was even it was better than that. Like the foot fungus made God, that your much stomach better. acid is strong. <laughs> yes, I is. well, so so the guy I just recorded a conversation Monday with his first job out of college is he moved to New Zealand to uh to uh make wine. Hmm. Really. Yep. Yep. You'll have to listen. You'll have to listen to Conversation Monday on YouTube. It just came out. It's with Sean Hope, my good buddy. Okay. So there's a free plug there. Grant, that would be a great episode well, for you. you, it, well, you it, it's a, it is a great episode. Dil, or Grant did agree to go to the winery yeah. with Hannah and myself because they have a very, very good pretzel that you can you get cheese dip, like a nacho cheese dip, and caramel. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to go. I would. I I would dry, go to Minneapolis to go to it. Just and you know what? Just for my good friend Ethan, if I have to drink a glass, I'll do it. Yes, he will. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, I hope I don't like it. I got. I got to have my poker face on that day. I got to wake up. And if I, when the day I know I'm going, I got to watch six hours of the World Series of Poker. <laughs> just <laughs> maybe shades the on the entire time. Oh, uh, I know when you're lying, though, oh, so we're God. good. I'll figure this, it. This out. could be bad. You know what? But you can tell I'm American. You know why? Pretzel and cheese it gets me anywhere. Yeah. Hey, and you yep. know, good. <laughs> by next. So, Grant, what are by next Tuesday? What's your biggest snob? In time for warm weather. I know. There you uh, go. This is going to sound ridiculous, but when I say my biggest um, snob, this is kind of a shot at my dad. Um, when it comes to buying orange juice, I only buy Simply Brand orange juice. If it's Hy-Vee brand or Target brand, get that shit out of here. That stuff's disgusting. It, ha- it has to be the four okay. and a half dollar right. bottle that's like, you know, 59 ounces. Um for some reason, if I'm getting orange juice, I'm getting the good stuff. I don't want the cheap store-bought brand that I don't think is actually orange juice. I think it's just water with orange color dye. Um, give me the real. Give me the real stuff. It's it's like that uh, on that episode of Two and a Half Men when Charlie's broke and uh, his mom, their mom wants a uh, wants a screwdriver, so they have just like a big. Big powder of orange juice and yes. water, and then she ends up liking it. Which I don't, I don't know, Grant, at your resort, but the one I was at, 
Oh, had the best orange juice down in, Me- down in Mexico. I have two big glasses of water to hydrate for the day, and I have two glasses of orange juice. Best orange juice I've ever had. Yes. Um, oh, absolutely. It was sure so they good. I squeezed about 1,000 freshly squeezed ones every day because that's how fantastic it was. I mean, I'm, th- I'm thinking yeah. they were California orange yep. juice. Um, they, they brought down there the peninsula. But, yeah, fantastic. So it's it's simple. It doesn't sound like much, but I'm an orange juice snob. If it's if it's high or Target brand, it's okay. essentially Tang, and I don't want that shit. What about like okay. a mango flavored orange? Juice? I can get on board with that, but like mango. I said, like okay. I can, it's, it's, I, it's I'll drink that. Yeah, me. it's got to be the simply brand, or yeah, yeah, essentially simply. Okay. What about uh, Tropicana? No. Every once in a while, I'll have a Tropicana. It's, it's Tropicana or Simply for me. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, and that, that leaves it to me. The biggest thing I am a snob about ranch? is ranch. Now, if it, yes. Now, if it's Hidden Valley Ranch, get, get that shit away from me. That oh, is not cool. ranch. That is paste. It is thick. Gross, disgusting, terrible. Should not Are be allowed to even be in Elmer's stores. Glue? It is. Yes, it, it's Elmer's glue with some. Uh, yeah, it, it's not good. It's terrible. You know, for me, you know, the ranch, it's got to be runny. The viscosity big, has to be low. Big word. It got, may, give it a look. What the fuck does that mean? It's not thick. It sounds like a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, if you have if you if you like Hidden Valley Ranch, you were born with a vasectomy. So no, I'll just say ranch sucks. Whoa, be folks, we are about to that's start a world just, war. Ethan, Ethan over here um shooting yep. more bullets at people than Jason McCordy this weekend doing the Tennessee Titans draft pick. <laughs> Oh boy! No kidding. Really? <laughs> so, so you got excited well, there for a second. Why no ranch? Uh, you just you never liked it there. I just think it tastes like shit. I've never liked it. I th- I think it tastes like ass. You're a commie. Now the real question: is, You're a communist. You ask, to, You're done. You ask, I'm, this not question, how does you know what ass tastes like? The world may never find out, just like you don't know how many licks God, drinks you get in the right center of a Tootsie face. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, you know, the best ranches, it's runny. You know, when you when you dip, you dip like a wing or a fry or something, it like just drips off or dip it in pizza, dip pizza in it. It's It just drips all the way down. You got to have a good drip test. Two things. Uh, so... It's ranch. <laughs> Runny ranch. Uh, uh, yep. I was going to say something, but then my mind went totally blank and went to a very sexual place. Um, uh, <laughs> this is this is an open forum. You can say whatever um, you feel. Oh, yeah. So speaking of ranch. So, Dylan, I'm not a big – like when it comes to salad, do you like ranch dressing on your salad or is it just on the dip? Okay, because I don't. No, I like ranch on my salad. Okay. I don't, I mean, I don't eat a lot of salad as it is. And, you know, when I was, when I was working in the oil field and I'd have, I wasn't able to really go home for lunch, I would always bring salads and I would just eat those, eat it dry. I wouldn't have any dressing on it because I didn't have anything I could put it in to have it cold. And you called me a communist. It's called a lunchbox. Yeah, you, you buy the individual pack of like yeah. ranch or French dressing? I could have, but I I didn't. I was on a health I was on a health kick. It was- no, it was it was super greens, tomatoes, peppers, uh, cucumbers, and then I would also bring strawberries okay, and blueberries and okay, Greek yogurt. Right. Well, the Greek yogurt. That was my lunch. I was gonna. It sounds before, better, but even but, then, that's still that's before still you threw in that Greek yogurt. Up. I was like, where's your protein? You're having all these greens, but the Greek yogurt, you get a you get a pass for that. Yeah, well, and I would have I would have a I would make a protein shake for breakfast, and 
I didn't have any, I didn't have a way to keep like, if I wanted to bring like chicken or steak or something, mm. I didn't have anything to heat it up with. That's, that's hard. So probably a good thing you got out of that industry, you know, cause you're those lunches. Well, I don't know. I was a lot thinner back then. I was in a lot better shape. Hey, but they did just steal game stole one. the game, by the way. Yeah, they did. Did they? Oh, yeah. wow. He had 40, Harden had 45 points. Oh, wow, yeah, I just um, see the uh, notification. Um, the, wow. The Seas were up by one point, and uh, this player did a uh, cross-court pass right to Maxi, and he laid it in, and they never gave up a lead. Well, no, then the Celtics had two, and then Harden hit a big oh, three. Oh, how about that? that? Game. Oh, gotcha. Okay, well, I guess then um, hopefully the Devils can maintain a win, and then we got what, Celtic or uh, – Suns Nuggets next. Uh, hey Boone, and Boone's gonna. That's the. Uh, that's gonna be the last of the, this episode. Is uh, you're gonna be. You guys are gonna get the pleasure of looking at Boone if Boone comes up a little bit to the I'm screen. Hey, oh, he's waving. But that wraps up episode 76 of the Three Guys Talking Ball podcast. Check us out on all of our social medias. Uh, Three Guys Talking Ball Facebook page. Go like us there. Same as on YouTube. We'll be posting the segments of the show on Friday. And then Twitter, Instagram, TikTok at 3GTV Podcast. Go follow us there as well. Like we said, that puts a bow on episode 76. And we will talk to you next week.